Hello, my friend. My name is Alexander Richter. I'm a technical director. And today I would like to show you all the basic tools I wrote for my open source pipeline Plex. This is an older video, so the quality and performance is just okay. But I still think there's a lot here to learn and inspire. Enjoy. Let's start Nuke 907 with my pipeline. The batch will add some pipeline paths and start the custom Nuke in it. The Foundry doesn't open up the splash screen for pipeline changes, so I use the command line not to just give the user transparency over the changes, but also to help solving problems easier. In the command line, you will see that I will show you the project name, the username, which is by the way just using the Windows login extended with the database, some paths, which also getting checked, some scripts, plugins, and some custom changes of the project, like the resolution, the frame range, and adding the functionality to write notes that they're creating the folders after they rendering. Starting at runtime, the menu scripts is activated and creates this pipeline toolbar with functions, icons, and shortcuts like save, load, higher write, raw render submit, render threads, report, and help. Let's start at the top with save. As you can see, the current scene is untitled. I feel like a magician here. See? Nothing under my sleeves. If we start save, it will automatically start save as. In Nuke, there are not much to choose from because compositing is mostly a one-way street. We can just choose to overwrite an existing compositing or create a new one. Let's create one. Let's create scene 3, drive. As you can see, the system doesn't accept the input because it's not pipeline conform. If you add a shot, you can just use three digits and optional add a shot name separated with an underline. Now we have created this shot, added all the needed folders and saved the scene. In existing scenes, save reacts differently. Instead of triggering save as, we start custom save and save a new version. What it does is version your scene up and refreshes the initials of the user. This also works with command and different naming order, as long as the scene name has a version with a V and three digits, and artists are shorted with two alphabetic characters. Another important tool of every pipeline should be a load script to provide a fast start and avoid navigating through the folder structure. As you can see, my load script reuses the save as script. In fact, it's the same script. You can select an existing shot see is if there's already compositing for it, also maybe select an older version and open it. It is simple and I just needed some hours to reguide some of the existing save as functions to a new directory for loading. Now let's go to the production of a shot. What is most important in Nuke is the write node. The IR write sets at first the paths independent of a save path of a scene file. As you can see, you have the options between AXR and JPEG rendering. The resolution is given by the scene which was set up at the start by the setting file. It reads the frame range from the read node. The first thing that hits the eye is probably the metadata above and below the image. We have the project name, the file name, the username, the current date, the frame range, the current frame, and the resolution. We can also add a comment which appears at the top of the image. Before render, we have to choose between render threads by Vincent Ullmann to submit it to raw render and the render farm or just render it locally. We choose render threads because it's faster. The status is like a second comment but will also be added to the file name. So let's render. After the rendering is finished, we can open it up in the folder destination. As you can see, it's in work images. Or 
we can watch the renderings in the RB player and see if the result fits our needs. All the meter data is in there, also the command and the status. There's also the possibility to change from 60 to 9 or to 21 to 9. Besides choosing which file format we want to render, we can also publish the renderings. Let's just save and do that. If we check publish and render it, it will take longer in the end of the process. That is because it creates a copy of the current renderings and pushes it from work to publish and replaces the old published images which maybe are referenced in your editing software. Let's open up destination while it copies. So if we go to com, publish, there's still the XR, still copying. As you can see, here are just clean files without any version or anything, author name, nothing. So now the JPEGs, let's copy too. So while it proceeds, for more control, you have the tab Mater, where you can switch on and off some of the metadata or change the opacity of the font, which give you more opportunities to render out what you want and what you really need. Next in line is the implementation of Roy Render by Holger Schoenberg. We create a submit and as you will see, it finds the node and now you can send it to the render farm. Next is RenderFresh, which can also be used for IR write or normal write nodes. For pipeline, it is as important to grow as to work on the point. For that, I have built a report tool to give the artist an easy way to report errors and make suggestions to easy up their workflow. Let's write one for I write. What report provides is a title or the script name, a comment section and an error message section. We can also add up images. One way is to create a screenshot without the report or to add up an existing image. Let's add this one. So now let's set it up. Every administrator can change report to status report. Remember to reuse. He can see not just the mentioned title, command error messages and open up the image. He can also see who has sent the report and which scene he had open at that time. With a click on the software, he can open the scene for better understanding of the problem. If the problem is solved, he can put the report to history. This also would be a great moment to send the person who reported the message an automatic email that his problem has been solved. I will add this feature in near future. What I also wanted to show you is my script concept, where every script with a graphic user interface has always the same footer. There's always the possibility to write a report or to get help to understand the current status and get paths which can be opened by the folder open button. The free space I use for special occasions. Last but not least, we have help, which can open your pipeline page or everything you could think of. The link is always saved in settings file. Portable, recyclable, system independent and software ergonomic. This is the foundation of the system. Always define your job as a pipeline TD, as someone who makes things possible and who makes things easier. Then you will do great. Thanks for watching. I hope this introduction gave you some ideas for your own pipeline. For more, check out my website alexanderrichtertd.com and I will see you on the next video.